Mara was 21 years old, a Dean's List student studying to be a nurse following in her mother Laurie's footsteps. I missed the entire previous year, so we had a lot of catching up to do. And that we did. Little did I know this would be the last time I would ever see my little sister Mara again. In a month's time, she would be ripped away from my life without warning, without reason. Nothing could prepare me for the next chapter. My life would never be the same. That is from episode one of the podcast called Media Pressure, the untold story of Maura Murray. And here is the face behind the voice, Julie Murray, as Maura's big sister. Julie, thank you so much for being on the program. And I, mean, I didn't know until just recently that your podcast is number four on Spotify. I mean, it's only being bested right now by Joe Rogan, Tucker Carlson, and Jason and Kelsey, um, Jason um, and, and Travis Kelsey. It, I mean, it is, it is incredible that you're getting this much exposure. Is it turning into any leads or tips at this early point? Actually, it, it has. Um, within the first week of the podcast launch, we've already got several viable tips in that we're pursuing actively right now. And are the authorities who I, I assume have been working on the case, are they thrilled with the notion that they might have a new energy injected into the investigation? Well, I think they want to solve this case just as much as my family does. So it's just another tool, another technique to try to generate some new leads, maybe jog someone's memory. Um, but most importantly, it's to give my missing sister, Mara, a voice in her own story. I'm looking at the age progression. Um, to me, my goodness, she barely looks a year older, uh, let alone 20 years older. Do you think it's an accurate portrayal of what she might look like now? Honestly, I think I'm a more accurate uh, image of what she might look now because uh, we do look so similar. But it, it's a step in the right direction. It's not a bad thing. Um, the investigators told me it's just another tool. It's not based on new information. So it can't hurt. The, um, the most likely scenario, I, I hesitate to even ask, but I can only imagine that you and your family have gone over every possibility. I can't get over the, the fact that there were no footprints in the snow leading away from Maura's car. What do you and your family believe um, may have happened to your sister? We suspect foul play for two reasons. One, in two decades, there hasn't been a single credible lead. And two, nothing has ever been found. When you say foul play, I keep coming back to the footprints. What, what kind of foul play? Do you think she got into a passing vehicle and it just happened to be the worst coincidence ever that there was someone uh, with a nefarious intent that happened to be passing by that accident site? Based on the evidence, I believe she did get into a vehicle and eventually met with foul play. Do you know um, things about this investigation that the, that the public doesn't know? Have the police shared things with you and asked you not to share them publicly in hopes that it'll maintain some evidence that only the killer will know? I do know a few things um, that the police have shared with me that they asked me not to talk about or make public. And of course, I don't want to jeopardize my sister's investigation. So, um, and I want to earn their trust. And we, we do have a much better relationship now within the past couple of years. So I want to continue to move forward in a collaborative way with the investigators. And Julie, I, you know, I, may have spoken too um, loosely when I said only the killer would know, because of course we, we, don't, we don't know if Maura was killed, but I have, you know, read that you do suspect she was killed. Again, based on, based on what I know, based on the evidence, um, we know that she didn't walk into the woods. There was over two feet of snow. We would have seen footprints. There was Scent dogs, cadaver dogs, heat sensing, helicopter, line searches, and nothing has ever been found. So I don't think that she went into the woods for those reasons. 
Julie, let's stay on this. Um, it, it's, it's such a mystery, and I'm buoyed by the fact that your podcast is as popular as it is, that there are people out there who truly do you know, support you and want to help in, and reinvigorate this 20-year-old case. And let's like pray that we can get something that will help your family get some answers and some closure. But I, I do intend to, to speak with you again on this. I hope you'll come back. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.